We've donated 3 billion meals to local food banks and agencies since 2017. Ditching a trailer used to be a two-person job. With F-150, it's a one-button. I love you, my beautiful wife. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. Um, so this one's going to be super short and uh, to the point. Okay. On um, March 10th, 310, 2024, um, I heard while well, I was waking up, I heard audibly, I love you, my beautiful wife. Okay, so this is very specific for those of you in that season, um, whether you know who your spouse is or not, um, God just wants to relay that he has somebody for you and that this person is is praying for you and even if he knows who you are or doesn't know he loves you god has already put this love in in him for you okay that when you see each other um it's gonna be overwhelming okay and um you're going to be so beautiful to him okay uh, vice versa if you're a man listening to this it, you can switch switch it around right like the pronouns um so this person god has for you is going to love you he's going to recognize you as uh his wife because he's i heard i love you my beautiful wife um so that love is going to be there um he's not gonna have eyes for anybody else and you will be recognized as wife okay wife not anybody else not like sister in christ not like no. wife okay he will recognize that um in you and not only that you are a wife but that you are his wife okay his bride Oh, <laughs> uh, Holy Spirit just reminded me, like, um, he has given me something for my spouse, right, uh, about man, like, my man, right, and I've actually been seeing that a lot, so he keeps confirming that, right, that he's a man, that he's mature, spiritually, because that's, like, basically the only thing, right, on my list, that he's mature, spiritually, and that um, he loves the Lord. Okay, he has to be obedient. He has to hear from God. He has to obey God, especially if he's going to be leading, right? Um, he has to be submitted. And so, um, like right now, when I was saying that about like, he's going to recognize you as his wife, his woman, his lady. And then God reminded me, yeah, just like, you're my man right like he flipped it around like, to talk about both um so yeah man likewise women will know like god will make it so that you both know and there's peace and um he's in it you you'll know when god is in something okay he he's so obvious he's not the author of confusion okay but of peace um and this is something so serious uh for god to enter into covenant um so just know that if you have involved god in this that and and you have him remain in your relationship when he's in it like you can't go wrong once you have invited him in to help lead you on this journey to help lead you and guide you and you've laid down everything and been like god i want what you want right if you're not in it i don't want it if you say no i don't want it if they're not right with you i don't want it 
um, because you want God to be the center in both of your lives, right? Because you become one with this person and being unequally yoked is really not, not a good thing, okay? So yes, whoever God has for you and if you made a specific prayer, I'm mean, like, God, is he thinking about me? How does he see me? Or, you know, a specific prayer uh, like that. Um, he said, I love you, my beautiful wife. There's love. Um, there's eyes for you, uh, love for you, and uh, recognition as wife. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Um, he did lead me to Solomon, uh, Songs of Songs, right? Songs of Solomon. Um, basically, just read all of it. And if that's just in itself confirmation for you, um, yeah. But yeah, throughout the whole book, um, they're just being so lovey-dovey and affectionate and all that, right? So uh, you can go read that. Okay. All right. God bless you. Bye. Perfect.